What's up? It's your girl, adult film star Giselle Triple X, and you are watching hip hop since 1987. Triple X Live. Hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987. We live in Atlanta right now. It's your man Eldorado, and I'm in a secret location. With a dark porn star, Giselle. I appreciate you taking the time to mess with us tonight. What's up, babe? How are you? See? I'm good. How are you? Now, I'm quite sure, you know, some of our viewers, they may have seen you on numerous sites, maybe numerous movies and films and whatnot. Okay, but I gotta, I gotta ask you, what broke you? What got you into the porn industry? Um, I'd say that money got me into the porn industry. And I seen other girls from the industry started to make a certain amount of money. And I was like, okay, I'm dancing. I'm getting $10 a song. And they get this killing that on any day. They get paid to come to the club. They get in residuals off of they, you know, they videos. And they know they have like business. And they get contracts. I needed that type of money. I knew I could do what they did a little better and as good as them. So I got into the business. With America being in a recession over the past three years, it's seen, you know, uh, every industry is taking a hit. So I'm quite sure the porn industry is taking a hit as well. What has that been like? Um, it's been it's been rough because it's like seasons for everything. Like the summertime, the shows are kind of slower. One of the time, dudes want to come and pack up in the club, you know, and see the girls. Because in the summertime, they ride their top down being cute. So it's kind of a up and down roller coaster with you. If you know how to manage your money and you know what you're doing, you got to be seasoned in this. Like you got to know more than one way to get money. Because scenes ain't the only way to get money. That's the last way to get money. Because you're not, if you don't own your company, you're not really getting no money like that. My first scene was a scene that I did for like a low budget company. But I thought when nobody was. Everybody saw it. I like that. I really was on every site. I couldn't run from it. I couldn't like it was on every site possible, like big booty sites, white sites, blog sites. It was on every so I couldn't run from it. I mean, you know, the experience. The people were nice. You know, it wasn't like a bad experience. Like, oh my God, these people are creeps. But just I didn't expect so many people to see it, and they saw it. That's good. I mean, it's the internet, so yeah. But I had no clue the power of the internet at that time. I would have never did it. I would have never did it. I, I, I know that you're known for your 50 inch ads. You're also known, you know, for, for other oral sensations and things like that. Do you have a preference when you're doing the scene that you prefer to do? Um, right now, I'm kind of over the, doing the girl guy scene. I want to strap the strap on and fuck the bitches. Like, I want to do girl girls. And, you know, that's my next thing. I'm going to do DVD for love. I don't want to get on these fucking bitches with strap on. Like, I kind of felt like I kind of. Made my, made my name with the boy girl scenes. I might slide one in if, you know, somebody get lucky. But, <laughs> but right now, it's just, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to groom other girls now. You know, I want to bring some girls out of under my wing, you know. But if I had a preference, um, it would definitely be the strap on scenes. Those are good things. I can do it. I can definitely that. So look out for that coming real, real yes. soon. Maybe you'll get a sneak clip on Hip Hop since 1987. Oh, y'all will definitely get this. Y'all will get the first one. I promise. I'll give y'all the first exclusive. Okay, we'll be looking forward to right. that. So make sure, make sure y'all stay tuned. Look forward to that. Did I practice sucking dick at home a lot? You know, I practice sucking on the dick, get my throat a little loose. You know, I, I practice sucking on the dick. You know, 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 I practice sucking on the Music though, like I do. I like, you know, I like, I like the nasty, like eat your pussy, lick your toes, flies, like the nasty. You know, I like the nasty music. Like I like that bury your face in that music. So that kind of get the mood popping. Where do you see yourself in five years? You mentioned briefly a moment ago, you know, about bringing other girls up, and putting them under your wing. You're talking about also doing films with other women and things like that. In five years, where do you see yourself? In five years, I see myself completely behind the scenes. Like I want to know how to operate the camera. I already know how to edit, you know, I know how to pick the girls. I know what people want to see. So I'm kind of wearing my producer hat right now. So in five years, I want it to be where people don't even know it's my site. Like, you know how people don't know who run Bang Bros, unless you're in the industry? I want it to be a site that y'all don't know has nothing to do with me. It's not even a black porn site, and I want to be able to run it, and it be a full-fledged production company where I have other little spin-off sites like the Dancing Bear or Fetish Shot sites. I want to have a full-fledged company where I'm behind the scenes, I'm the boss, I'm making all the decisions. It's a big difference. It's very segregated and it's, it's, it's totally different. Like when you go shoot with 
Bang Bros, when you go shoot with Venetian, and then when you go shoot with West Coast Productions, you go shoot with Evasive Angles, it's totally different, it's day and night. Like the treatment, the way you're paid, um, how long you're on set, hair and makeup, food, lunch, payroll checks, all that is totally different with the white companies. And I feel like, you know, I'm glad we have award shows like Urban X and, you know, things like that to showcase the African American talent in the urban foreign game. Because when we go to ABN, we kind of be there, but we don't be there. You know, so it's, it's always a token black girl that's not or something like that, but it's never like, you don't even have categories, honestly. So it's kind of different. It's very different. They definitely get the treatment, they get the better pay, they get all that. So that's why I'm, I was kind of proud that, that the white company shot. Like all the big companies that are like the mainstream companies are shot, which is very rare for a black girl with tattoo in a big movie. Now, I know that you, you know, you, you've been very successful as far as the porn industry is concerned, but why don't you let us know, you know, what you have going on outside of the porn world? Okay, well, I'm currently working with my manager and my agent um, and a network on a reality show. It's like a transition show. Um, it's like a me growing from a porn star into a businesswoman show. But it's like, it shows the struggles about how, like, the porn is the easy money. So it's like, I'm trying to change who I am, but it's porn money pulling me back. Matter of fact, I have a new scene out with Pinky that y'all should go check out at PinkyXXX.com. It's me and Pinky and the strap on and we do what our thing. <laughs> so y'all go check that out. And I have some new scenes coming out with um, Envy Star, which is my new talent, and Monroe Sweets. And we're going to put it down. Because I ain't really getting no scenes in a minute. I got to get the people with me home. It's your girl, Adult Film Star, Giselle Triple X. And you can catch me in my next video. I'm presenting some of the baddest new girls in the adult industry. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Giselle Triple X, G I Z E L L E X X X. And you can follow me on Twitter. Twitter, I mean, sorry, take that off. Instagram. <laughs> sorry. You can follow me on Instagram, G I Z E L L E underscore Triple X. Look for your next event. I'm bringing the hoes out, I'm bringing the bad bitches out. Gonna shake our ass, we won't play with each other pussy, it's gonna be crazy. Make sure you got that motherfucking booking money, let's do it. Y'all know what it is, Hip Hop since 1987. Thank y'all for, for having a lot, me. A lot more from this beautiful young lady right here. And check her out, man. Hip Hop since 1987, she man, I'll divide her. Shout my Hip Hop since 1987, niggas. Hip Hop since 1987.com.